It is Saturday, November 12th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Saturday puzzle, and that means it's very well, uh, could very well be the most difficult puzzle of the week, which is a problem because I'm <laughs> I am particularly limited on time today. And on top of that, I sort of slept in. So um, I'll need to do this relatively briskly, and we'll have to see if that's possible. Um, in any case, this, this uh, extremely uh, time-constrained edition of The Daily Solf has been brought to us by Connor O'Neill, Camtron, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Salt Patreon campaign, for their generous support in keeping this series going. So thank you, and thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level. Uh, for doing so, you'll get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week, like this week's latest uh, pretty difficult password solve and the latest mini puzzle speed solve. And of course, all of that is at patreon.com slash daily solve. Um, you can also find a link in the description field underneath the video where there's a link to the Discord chat server as well, the daily solve Discord chat server. And um, do subscribe to the channel, do tell a friend, do like the videos, etc. Okay, let's get on. Let's get on to the puzzle. We'll start solving. So this is a Saturday crossword, which means it is likely a themeless puzzle, and it was constructed by Billy Bratton and edited as always, by Will Shorts. Um, just a couple of puzzles um, from Billy Bratton in the past, so we'll see what he has in store. Word with top or tin? Um, top hat? Tin hat? You could sort of refer to a tinfoil hat-wearing conspiracist, I guess. Conf conflict with fighting, a hot war as opposed to a cold war. Within reach at something? Does something Monera elsewise? Otro or Otro, I suppose. Otro probably to match to match the gender of Monera, I suppose. So that would be yeah, el elsewise as it says. Okay. Uh, otro meaning other. Okay. Um with, within reach, yeah, so it is at something. Political pamphlets could be tracts. And lines on a map could be roads or routes, but probably roads. <clears throat> oh, at hand, within reach, at hand. There we go. Oh, I'm on next. That's me now or something? I don't know. Small matter would be an atom, a small uh, unit of matter. And southwestern city that produces most of the U.S.'s Snickers bars. Well, I certainly didn't know this, but... <laughs> But Waco is already the name of a town, so Waco, Texas could be the answer. And variety of agate. Mm. I mean, this will be a stone or a, or a mineral or something. And four letters ending with X, it could be onyx? Is that... I don't know enough about what it, what <laughs> I actually don't know how to define agate, uh, sort of annoyingly, actually. Um, let's just see if it works. Hopeless is no win. Maybe it's a no win situation. If that's agate common symbol in a rebus. Okay. Well, this is referring, I presume not to the New York times, uh, crossword definition of rebus, but to the broader puzzle solving version of rebus where, um, images make words. Don't know. Not confident enough about these things. I'll try one more thing from Onyx. Get to, um, I don't know. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I was going to say I couldn't think of anything, but then annoy. You get to something. It really gets to me. It annoys me. Oh, and a common symbol in a rebus is an I. Okay, that would be the most. That is probably the most common symbol in a rebus is an image of an I to indicate the letter I or the sort of, you know, first person singular pronoun. Okay, hopeless. Hmm. So it still looks like no something. Refuse to squeal. Or don't name names. Um, keep quiet. Or I mean, this really looks like name, which is the opposite of what you're doing. Maybe it's name n no names. That's kind of a strange way to put it. But to name no names, to refuse to squeal. That's my... I'm on next. That's my... 
I just don't know. Pop open, perhaps. Uncap something? Oh, that's my cue. I'm on next on a, you know, on a stage production or something, and someone says the line that le- that means it's your cue. Okay, right. So pop open is uncap. And it's, oh, if it's hopeless, it's no use, not no win. There we go, no use. And Minnesota March composer, I'm actually not familiar with this particular piece, at least not by name, but uh, Sousa, pr- presumably the fam- famous composer of marches. It's John Philip Sousa, is it? And then big blank Red Sox nickname. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think I recognize this. I think it's Big Poppy. And it's, is it David Ortiz? Is, it, is that maybe who this is? I'll be amazed if I remembered that correctly. Um, and not very amazed if I, if I didn't. It's left on a major highway. Is that referring to a sort of carpool lane or a high occupancy vehicle lane? I'm not sure exactly. This looks like Ant-Man, small role in a superhero movie. Okay, that makes sense. One growing up in a cave. Oh, is it (laughs) stalactite or stalagmite? Oh, stalag something, stalag, what are the possibilities? The only one I can think of is stalagmite. So since that's the only one I can think of, let's just check the crosses and see if I can verify it. Toss up, a lob, a high, high arced throw. Time when it helps to be flexible. Yoga, oh, with that G, yoga class or yoga um, session? Headquarters, a base. Previously, yet, it, ha- it hasn't happened previously, it hasn't happened yet. We don't think of those as synonyms, but I think in this case they are. Dog and the Thin Man, the great film, The Thin Man, is Asta. Everybody should watch The Thin Man. It's incredibly good. Um, it's a, it's a, it's just great. It's an incredibly fun sort of comedy mystery thing. It's very, it's, it's just incredibly fun. Okay. Dessert served in a boat. But, oh, maybe this isn't previously. Maybe it's not previously. Maybe it's nay as in born, as in previously named. And this is, oh, sorry, banana, banana split. It's an ice ice cream dessert. That's that is, I guess it is sort of traditionally served in a sort of gravy boat kind of dish. Um, Loutish one, a total bore, a lout. Platform for a modern job interview. Um, Oh, Zoom meeting. Right. It's left oh left on a major highway. Passing lane. Right. Okay. Ice cream of the future. There's an ice cream brand called Dippin' Dots. Is that what this is, maybe? I've never had it. I don't know what makes it sort of special or I guess futuristic. I didn't know that it was considered the ice cream of the future, but it just fits the crosses. I wonder what that means. So that was stalagmite. I'm very lucky because I can't remember. Is is it stalactite? What is the other one? Ah, that's so annoying. Science class for accelerated high school students. AP um, chemistry, chem could be bio, but that's too few letters. Apt shoe, apt shoe for a plumber, clog, right? Okay, so clog, a wooden shoe, I think often associated with the Netherlands. And um, a plumber, un, un, you know, fixes clogs and pipes. Okay, so this does look like it became with that C. Certain cookie spinoff. I bet this will be an Oreo something. An Oreo thin looks likely. So a thin Oreo, I suppose. Um, Oreo, of course, being the official cookie of the New York Times crossword puzzle. Actor Cerebo of Queen Sugar, not sure about that. Where polo was invented, Iran or Iraq, maybe? For some reason, that sort of seems plausible. I could totally see polo being an ancient Persian kind of thing, which would make it Iran. It just I don't know, that just feels culturally reasonable to me. Um, but let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. Line of jeans could be the inseam, the inseam of a pair of trousers. Right, okay. And the question mark makes it a pun, of course. Unionizes gels, maybe, as in comes together. Uh, fuzzy fruit that's technically a berry. Oh. This isn't acai, is it? No. Fuzzy fruit. It's a kiwi. Kiwi fruit is fuzzy. I was worried about my Iran assumption. Um, 
which certainly is not hard knowledge in my case. Unionizes, oh, I guess it's not gels. Um, weds, weds, forms a union, comes together. LED component is a diode. Uh, why is that in question mark? Oh, I guess because it's, in, in this case, it's actually literally using it to say uh, it's a component of the initialism. So light emitting diode is what that stands for. Okay, juice cleanse, e.g. Oh, oh, a fad diet. So Kofi Sirabo, okay. All right. So not, not cluing this with the classic Kofi Annan, um, who's been obviously a well-known name for decades. Um, made it a little tougher today. Grammy-winning actress Carrera, Tia, Tia Carrera, I've heard of that person, so that sounds, looks right. Hernandez of Team USA Gymnastics, I'm not sure offhand, Laurie maybe, um, could, could be, I'm sure, a number of things. Correct, you got it, maybe? Oh, maybe, that, maybe that is Laurie, wow. Uh, it resurfaces after 20 minutes. I have no idea what that is. Let's just try, Laurie, because it just, it does fit. Fill as a moving van. Loads? Oh, no, 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 not fills, load. Fill, load up, okay. That could actually work. And exclamation points, OMG, OMG. The online exclamation, okay. And not willing to stoop to... If you're not willing to stoop to someone's level, you're above, above their level. I won't stoop to that. I'm above it. Pamper to a fault with on. Dote on. You often see grandparents described as doting on their grandchildren. Pampering them to a fault. Does a background check on. You uh, vet somebody. So you often hear about this in political um, research or, you know, job hiring. Okay, course in college speak, a unit, so a unit of, a, you know, curriculum. Oh, Zambo, oh, that's funny. It resurfaces after 20 minutes. Zamboni, so that's the machine that, resur that um, resurfaces, you know, ice rinks and things like that. Okay, just awful with the the pits. It's just awful. It's the pits. Fortunately, this puzzle hasn't been, has not been the bits for me. It's, it's cooperated with my accelerated schedule. Peter or Paul, but not Mary. Those are Russian czars. And of course, it's an or clue. So we're only using one of them. You might assume, oh, it'll be a three-letter word with an S on the end because we have two. But uh, no, because we're only referring to Peter or Paul. And anyway, there was no czar Mary, I suppose. Like most athletes, the agile, I assume. Let's just check that. Travel for someone who's feeling bad. A guilt trip. <laughs> Very good. Um encounter a run-in maybe and uh in a way supergirl eg present for one uh, november 13th eg uh, i'm not seeing these for some reason uh in a way in a sense i mean it's it's missing too many letters you're doing it all wrong. Stop, maybe? I mean, simple as that. Lose one's posse. To lose one's posse. To go solo. There we go. Title subject of a best-selling 1997 memoir. Oh, there's a book. I actually, to be honest with you, I don't know what it's... I don't know really anything about it, but it's Tuesdays with Morris or Maury or something. Um... Hollywood's Ryan, Meg Ryan. Okay, good. I'm glad I had that M because Ryan could be other names as well. Uh, high level classes, elites, maybe? As in classes in, of society in this case, for instance, I think. To exceed is to go past a, a particular threshold, for instance. Many a population figure is an estimate. Some budget graphics um, are oh, pie charts, pie charts. You could show you, show, yeah. Okay, okay, it is Tuesdays with Maury. Okay, great. Uh, oh, ah, okay, no wonder I didn't see this. Uh, in a way, kind of, sort of. So we have a sort of reduplicative phrase there. Number 13. Oh, November 13th is the Ides of November, right? Not all Ides are the <laughs> are the 15th. You always remember that. I don't know why. Okay, uh, I'm sure it has something to do with a lunar calendar or something. Supergirl, e.g., is an alien. And Crazy Cat is a comic strip that influenced Calvin and Hobbes. I have read that, actually. I was absolutely obsessed with Calvin and Hobbes growing up. I, I, pro I honestly, I mean, this might not even be an exaggeration. I probably could have quoted 
every single Calvin and Hobbes comic. If you sort of started reading it to me, I probably could have continued it at a certain, I don't know, for a few years of my young life. Anyway, um, I do remember Bill Watterson saying he was influenced by Crazy Cat. And present, for one, the present tense linguistically. There we go. So, no. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay. Oh, what did I say? Cra I just said Crazy Cat. What was I doing? Sorry. Oops, and I hit the mic there. Um, okay, that was absurd. Okay, <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, there we go. That was the Saturday puzzle. Enjoyed that one. Um, doing not great on time, but doing okay on time. I think I'll be fine. So uh, some really fun central cues here. Banana split, yoga session, Zoom meeting. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what? I'm not going to analyze this any further <laughs> because I really, should, I really should go. I have to get this um, published and everything. All right. That was the Saturday puzzle. I'm sorry for the extremely um, rushed, abbreviated video. That was, I think, a fun Saturday puzzle by Billy Bratton. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll be back tomorrow for the Sunday puzzle. Hopefully a bit less uh, time crunch, but that is a, a little long, so we'll have to see. All right. Uh, that's that. Yeah, that's that. That's that. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care.